Did you know that research shows that kids put toys in their mouth more often than their spoon? I don't know if I needed a research study to tell me that, but that's nasty. <laughs> when Solviosis reached out and want, wanted to sponsor today's vlog, it was an easy decision for us. The Joby box uses UVC LED technology from Solviosis called VioLEDs which destroys bacteria in an eco-friendly way using zero harmful chemicals. Which is super important to us. Not to mention, look how cute it is. It's adorable. It blends in with the rest of our toys. It's neat because it's like we're bringing the sterilization method that we use in our optometry clinics every day to clean the frames that the patients try on into our home. It's one of the things I'm most proud of when I take patients to the optical just because that's such a high traffic item, people literally putting frames on their faces all day. But to be able to say, any frame you try on, put in this little box here and we're gonna UV sterilize it before it goes back on the board. It's just a really cool technology. Yeah, it's reassuring for us and the patient that we're not spreading harmful bacteria. And now we can do that at home too. We're especially gonna use this Joby box when the new twins arrive. I mean, just how think how many times the pacifiers and their toys hit the ground or go in the twin's mouth. Yeah, we're gonna be using this thing a lot. So one of the best parts about the Joby box is not only does it sterilize toys, but even things like with batteries, like cell phones, remotes, makeup brushes. This is probably a two or three year old dream come true for me. At least. Because Specifically, I remember a time when the twins got a stomach bug and Eloise was really little and I remember saying, I wish there was a way I could just sanitize the entire house and know for certain that it was bacteria free. And it's, I mean, obviously we can't put our entire house in here at once, but anything you can fit in the box, which is a lot at once, it'll sterilize for you. And as you can see, it's fun because at the end of the day, the kids kind of treat it like it's a toy and like round up all their toys to put into the box. It's kind of a game. What's really cool is that the Joby box has completed a 99.9% .9 sterilization test of COVID-19 within 40 minutes. So us parents and our kids can use our toys and our things without having to worry about the coronavirus. Huge thank you to Solviosis for protecting our family and sponsoring today's video. And we have a link down in the description box for you guys to purchase your must have Joby box today. Enjoy the rest of the vlog. Hey everybody, welcome back to the Brad and Rach vlog. It is Monday. I was off today. You need to go potty. Okay, it's a... BRB. Okay, so Mondays I normally work, but now, the first Monday of every month, I'm going to be off because of, I think we're completely out of chips. I'm sorry. But luckily, Daddy, Daddy's coming home with dinner and the pictures for your poster. So I was off today. My mom and I decided to do as much as we could with the villa that required shopping. <laughs> so we, actually our um, flooring guy came over to measure, remeasure flooring. Luckily he did because the floor plan of the villa that they gave us did not match the actual dimensions of the floor. So it was a good thing he came over to remeasure. And um, then we went up to Jefferson City, which is, can I turn the TV? Sure. Which is where they have this appliance place. Did that hurt your hand? I'm sorry. I know it won't come up without scissors. You need scissors. Oh. Yeah. So we went to this appliance place where they, it's not like scratch and dent, even though some of them are scratch and dent. That's weird lighting. It's more like most of their items are something that people have purchased and then canceled the order, but they already got them in. And so like Lowe's will get a credit for it. Then they make a deal with this place and then they can sell the appliances for way below market value. 
So we got all of our appliances for probably half the price that we thought we would get all of our appliances for the villa, which is awesome. Mommy, can I have something to eat? Yes. Right now? Yes. Let me get you something. We're not dinner. So, anyway, that was like a huge win for our villa project. And they're really neat appliances too. The oven is a double oven, but the upper one, I guess these are super common in Europe and it is a very smart design. The upper one is much smaller than the lower one and then there's no worthless storage drawer at the bottom. But it's genius because how often do you really use both of the racks, like the entire huge oven? And in this one, you only have to preheat or heat one smaller space. So I'm excited to use that while we live at the villa. And what else did we do? Oh, we picked up paint for the nursery, which is in the master closet. The master closet is going to be the nursery. Yes. I'll open it for you. Okay. I'll open it. Right, what did we just see outside? A different cat. A different cat. We don't know what her name is. No. What was wrong with her? She had a hip paw. Yeah. She was kind of limping. What do, you, what do you think happened to her paw? I don't know. Maybe she got stung by a sea urchin that are really pokey. You see the dad? You think she touched a sea urchin? Yeah. That would hurt her paw for sure. Yeah, it would. Yeah. Or oh, she broke her paw by fire. Or she got it too close to a fire. That yeah. would do it too. Um, she got put, burnt. Burnt, yeah. But how would we fix a book? Probably put some burn cream on it and wrap it, maybe. That would not look. Maybe just put some water on it. Maybe cold water. You guys look really cute in your St. Patty's Day dresses. Are we just doing a trial run? I got those for the girls, and I got a green shirt for Bear that was. Um, it wasn't green enough. It was really cute though, I would have bought it anyway. And so I found this today at Marshall's for five bucks and got him that for his St. Patty's Day shirt. Do you like your new St. Patty's Day shirt? You don't like it? Oh. So Brad's at Walmart right now. Um, he was printing off pictures for Lindell's poster for her being the star of the week, or the angel of the week they call it at preschool. And he just texted me to preheat the oven to 425. Mommy, put on a big poster. And Mommy, yes. Put on a big poster. I know your teacher sent this poster home. Does it go this way or does it go this way? Um, this way. This way? Yeah. Okay. So daddy's at. Actually, it goes on the side. Can, it can go however you want. I want to go on the side like, like my other classmates did it. Okay. And so we're going to let you color on it and we're going to put pictures on it. Brad was at Walmart Brad at the photo center. On stickers he was printing out the pictures and he texted me and said he felt like a <laughs> I'm not gonna say it cuz I don't want to offend anybody but he couldn't figure out how to do it I'm like that's funny because I feel that way too because I have the sciatic nerve pain no offense to to folks that are elderly but so sitting here having dinner with Lindell by my side and my parents are out in Las Vegas. If you're new around here, they were team truck drivers. They just retired, sold their house, bought an RV. Now they're full-time RVing. They came here, they went to Michigan, they came here, they were down in Louisiana for a month, and now they made their way out to Las Vegas. And they went to the Bellagio Hotel and they set a couple of pictures. It reminds me of when Rachel and I and her parents took Bear and Lindell. How old were they? Uh, nine or ten months. Nine or ten months, so they were still breastfeeding. And in the huffle and, huffle and scuffle? Hustle and bustle. Hustle and bustle. <laughs> the huffle and scuffle of everything. I forgot a bag of breast milk on the airplane. Rachel will never forgive me. Oh, that's not true at all. That's not true. I didn't have to say anything. <laughs> you, you, okay. I was never, I never even got mad. Like you just were, you were hard enough on yourself on that one. So Rachel used to pump a lot extra. Like after every feeding, she would pump extra, and so we always had extra milk on hand. And I mean, we needed it. They would eat a lot. They were ten months old. Well, we were in 
classes. So yeah, and, and we were in classes, and we were in classes all day, and so like her parents would would have to feed the twins. Well, they had never had formula, so we couldn't. Just yeah, they had never had formula, so we just didn't want to like start them on formula. And so, luckily, Rachel was part of a mom's group where they would donate breast milk, and so she was able to hook up. Well, we were able to hook up with with someone and get donated breast milk, and we actually met them in the Bellagio Hotel. So, <laughs> like, my parents sent pictures of the Bellagio Hotel. Just brings up those memories. Lyndall, do you remember being in Las Vegas? <laughs> Lyndall was so singing cute. At do you remember? That age. Do you remember drinking donated breast milk? Oh yeah! <laughs> I have the work. We, we need to we need to insert a picture here of Lyndall in Las Vegas because I feel like that was the stage where her little wrist rolls were the most pronounced. Mm. Oh my gosh, they were so cute. Bear learned to crawl in Las Vegas. That's true. But yeah, we we got. A little, it what wasn't like, like we weren't able to get a ton of bre breast milk from this girl. Um, it was just like she had come into town and was pumping and she wasn't planning on keeping it. And so she had some like when she first got into town that she had pumped. And anyway, it wasn't a ton. It was like just enough to get us through one of our classes. But do you remember another one of our classes? I was having to like pump a lot while we were there. And then one of the times like, in between classes, or I left a class early, ran, our hotel was like three quarters of a mile away. I ran, did you really need to do that? I ran to our hotel, fed them, like nursed them, and then ran back to the next class. But this particular conference, they were really strict on attendance, and like if you left, they had a person there that wrote what time you left and what time you got back. And like, if you didn't, attend more than a certain percentage of the class you wouldn't get credit for it and like we had this was the only chance left to get our credit for that two-year period so it was quite stressful it was a stressful trip but we got it done and our babies went to vegas at 10, 10 months old and got stories to tell i can definitely not go in the water so this week is a big week for lindell at school why is this week coming up a big week for you lindell um, because I get to be a leader and the angel. You're the leader and the angel. So we have to make her a poster. So I stopped by Walmart and printed out some photos. So let's let's make Lindell's poster. <laughs> you excited? We get the glue on. Yes. Let's get the glue. Hot glue gun. Hot Are you texting the mom group getting instructions? <laughs> uh, uh, is that your face, Wee Wee? That's adorable. Lindell, as Lindell, as part of your poster presentation, I'm sure you're going to have to talk about each picture. So, do you want to practice and talk about them right now? Mm -hmm. Okay. What do you have? This is me doing ballet. Ah. Uh -huh. And this is me on on my birthday. How old were you? Four. Nice. Da bear, da bear. And this you. <laughs> I was remember my necklace. What else you got? And this is me when I was a baby with bear. Uh -huh. And I was a baby. And this is when we were in the snow all together. It's a fan movie. Yeah. And this is me and you, Daddy, riding the boat. Yeah, that was fun. <laughs> and that's me and Mommy. Laying. Uh -huh. I'm laying on Mommy's hand. Okay, now, Lyndall, one of the questions for the poster is going to be, what's your favorite color? Plan. Nice. And um, what do you want to be when you grow up? A ballerina. Very nice. And you and dance class to stop. Yeah. Now, Lyndall. Hey, Lyndall. Do you have a favorite movie? Um, it, it, it's called LOL Surprise that Movie. Oh, LOL Surprise. And let's see. <coughs> One more question. What's your favorite book? Fancy Nancy. Lots of great stories. Bear. Is it not I want to be a ballerina? Hey, Bear. Yeah. Is it your turn next week to be the angel? Yeah. It's going to be fun. Bear, hello, you're messing up my pictures. That one doesn't go there. This goes on the top right up there. Let's get, them, let's get them taped down so that they won't move. Guys, so Lyndall is doing her special project. 
So she'll get hers in just a minute, but I'm gonna get you guys your special gift right now, okay? So this is from a really sweet subscriber. Her name is Susie, and she's from Colorado, and she's been following our family for a long time. And she get she sent you guys a special present. Do you wanna see it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah? Okay, let's Daddy, see. After, I'm done? after you're done, yes, honey. Bear. And Eloise. Here, you want me to hold the grapes and you can open it? Oh, that's okay. Yeah. What's that say, Bear? Um, bear. Yeah, it says Bear. <laughs> you like it? It's a hat. She made it for you. Huh? Turn it around and look at it. <laughs> what is it, Wee Wee? Uh, um, it's a bunny rabbit. <laughs> bear, what'd you get? Oh, it's a silly monster. <laughs> Can you guys say thank you to Susie? Why, what? Wee wee. Thank, oui, oui. you. thank oh, you for saying you. thank you. Hey, Bear. Can you say thank you? Thank you. Awesome. Here you go, Lindell. That's from Susie from Colorado. You guys have never been to Colorado. Not yet. We will soon. Ish. Daddy? <laughs> it's a unicorn. Hey, uh, Lindell, you're going to have to take off your headphones. <laughs> that is awesome. <laughs> hey, Lindell, can you say thank you to Susie? Thank you. 